What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Now, it seems that, you know, I'm getting a lot of questions uh, pertaining to this CAD Works Live thing again. Uh, you guys got a lot of questions and concerns when it comes to, like, uh, designing and how to import this and export that and blah, 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 blah. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me. Shout out to Duncan. But you know what? We're going to get into that, though. All right? Now. Mm, 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 mm. I noticed, too, a lot of y'all, hey, not my loyal supporters. It's a lot of people just trying to stop by and, uh, and hit it and quit it real quick. Trying to come by and get that good information and not subscribe. I see y'all. Don't do that to me, no. Don't, don't, don't. Mm. Don't try to do that. Mm. Let me get that. Mm. 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 Hey, wait. Hold on. Let me get that. Yeah. Don't do that to your boy. Because if y'all do that and you ask me a question, I'm not going to respond. Because that showed me you're not loyal. Okay? Now, if you subscribe, I got you. All right now, we're gonna get into all this tag with live stuff right after my intro. Let's get it. Okay, now welcome back. All right, so we're just gonna run through this real quick, y'all. All right, um, first thing I'm gonna show you is how to upload a font that you downloaded from the website called The Font into CadWorks Live. All right, so let's just go over here to The Font, the website. Okay, so. Here's all the fonts. I'm not going to go through all of this. So, as you can see, there's a million font styles up here. In this box right here, in this preview, just type in whatever you want uh, your particular script to say. I typed in remajor. So, let's say I wanted to make a remajor design. So, I type in remajor here. Then I start scrolling to see which particular remajor design I like. Okay? And this font style that I'm in right now is called Old School. You can see it right here. Old School. Okay? So this is like all these old school fonts. Alright, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try to grab something real quick. Let's see. Let's grab. Let's just grab this one right here, okay? This is called uh, Giant by Kong Font. All right, so it says for it's free for personal use, okay? So I'm just gonna download that to my computer okay now this is key don't forget the name of the font you're downloading it's called Giant. now the location put it in whatever location that you want to save it in see I got a folder right here that says fonts okay so I'm gonna save it into my fonts uh, folder okay I'm just gonna hit save down bottom save Okay, self-explanatory. Now, it's saved. See right here down in the bottom left corner? That zip saved. Now, I'm just going to go back into CadWorks Live. Boom. Okay, I don't need this. This is something I was working on earlier. I'm just going to delete that. Boom. Now, you go up here to add text. Okay. Now, you type in that same 
scripture that you put in the font. For me, it was we major, okay? We major. Now over here to this, this black letter T, you click on that T, scroll over to the left at the top where it says right here, it says my fonts. So all your fonts that you upload into CadWorks Live are gonna be in here. So just left click, double click. Now, this is everything that I uploaded into this software. So now we just go down here to upload font, okay? Left click that. This little small box is gonna open, okay? Now you click on this browse button, browse. Okay, now you're just gonna browse your computer and just look for the, the folder that you saved that actual font in. So here's mine, boom. I'm just gonna click on fonts. Now I'm looking for the name of that font that I just downloaded, it's called Jean. Here's the zip right here, okay? Okay, now that you have your Jean zip file in the bottom left of the PC, you're just gonna minimize everything. This is the best way I know how to do it, y'all. Minimize everything. Click on your folders file in your on your PC and just find that zip file. Ours is Jeep we're using. Right click and we're just gonna go to ex extract all. Okay. Yes, extract it. Okay, so now that font is extracted into our PC. So now we're just gonna go back into CadWorks Live and click on Browse. Okay, now all we have to do is uh, find the Jeep. Okay, and here's the Jeep right here. This is, here's the extracted files. So here's the zip, don't click on the zip. Click on the extracted files that you just extracted, okay? Left click it and click open. Open and here's the jeep, okay? This is the extraction we just did. So we're just gonna click on jeep. I'm just gonna click on one of these jeep italics, okay? And as soon as I click open, Another box should open. Here we go. So we're back into CadWorks Live. Now, as soon as I click OK, that actual font will go into CadWorks Live. Watch. See? Did y'all see that? Here it is right here. G Italic. So now I'm going to click on that G Italic because that's what I want to use right now with my remajor scripture. Okay? Now I'm just going to go down here to open. And there it is. There's that font we just uploaded, okay? Now I just click OK, and here it is. All right, this is the Jeep font that we just uploaded to our PC from the font and then into CadWorks Live, okay? Now that's one. Now, you guys asked about how do you import clip art as well same way people it's not hard it's not as hard as you think all right check this out now we're gonna go to google and find an image that we like all right so i like frogs so i'm just gonna type in frog clip art okay enter now go to images. Okay, so here's all here's the their options they have for frog clip art. Okay. And to make it easier, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna type in frog clip art black and white free. Okay, so let's just pick something like this. No, not that one because it has scripture down in the bottom. All right, let's pick something like 
Uh, all right, y'all. So I like this frog. All right, so we're gonna go with this frog. Right click it. Click on save image as. All right, now I'm gonna create a folder for this one so I can find it easily. Okay. New folder. We're going to rename it Frog. So I know that my frog's in there. Frog. Okay. Enter. Now I just hit open. Save. Now our frog is saved in there. Okay. Now we're going to go back to CAD Works Live. Go to import, browse. There's our frog, left click, open. Okay, there's our frog. All right, it's pretty, it's kind of big, so we're just gonna minimize that a little bit. Okay, now, it's not vectorized either, so we're just gonna vectorize this thing. All right. Click on the white background. Now we gotta pick our color, so we, there's no, the only color in here is black, so just click the line, black, next. All right, now there's our frog with no white background. It's just the lines, so we just click OK. So here's my frog. Now I can blow my frog up. Now I can add color to my frog if I want. Okay, I clicked on red. It's not it's not black anymore. Now guys, it's red. All right, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna undo that. Now if I wanted to break this apart and change all these little aspects of the frog into different colors left click it you go up here to shaping and you pick you click on break, break apart by curves boom now you see all that now i can now select each point i want and just change the color boom now that's blue red gray I don't know, pink. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Let's do the body now. Boom. That little muddy green frog. Okay. Like, this is simple, guys. I mean, it's not that hard. All right. Outside, we're gonna go pink with that joint. Mm. That frog looking kind of different. Hmm? All right, so like I said, stuff is really not that hard. If you want information from me, just ask me. But don't try to play me though. Like I said, don't try to come through, hit it, and quit it. You know what I'm saying y'all gotta subscribe, man. Your boy trying to build this channel up. Don't do me like that. Don't do me filthy. Like show some love. All right. So that's it for this video, y'all. That's how you, you know, import fonts into into CadWorks Live via the font. And this is how you import your clip art and change it up. All right. So. Make sure you guys, you know, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell notification so every time I drop some new videos, you know, you don't miss anything. And make sure you subscribe, too. Don't try to play your boy come through and not show no love. Subscribe to my channel, man. I'm trying to build this thing up. We almost at 1,000, y'all. Well, more like 600, but the goal is to hit 1,000. I'm trying to get monetized, baby. All right? Till next time. Like I always say. Choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit.
basically pay attention stay alert and remember choose your own path